There is no doubt that the Nigerian Navy since its establishment in 1956 has grown from an offshoot of the Nigerian Marines to a formidable component of the nation's security architecture and a major player in the Gulf of Guinea. Notwithstanding, the Nigerian Navy over the years has become a major force, especially in execution of its mandate of checking criminal activities in the nation's territorial waters. Speaking at a press briefing to flag off its 66th year anniversary and program of activities, the Chief of Naval Staff Vice Admiral Awal Gumbo said the Navy, upon its fleet recapitalization effort, has achieved significant milestones in ensuring improved security for the nation's economic prosperity. Represented by the Chief of Policy and Plans, Rear Admiral Seydou Gerba, the naval chief said there has been a successive decline in reported cases of piracy within the Nigerian maritime domain, a feat responsible for Nigerians' exclusion from the list of piracy-prone countries. This noble achievement was complemented by, was complemented by the International Maritime Bureau Global Piracy Report of 14 July 2021, which indicated the lowest number of piracy and sea robbery against ships in our waters in 27 years. The report was further corroborated by the defense web, which noted further decline in reported cases of piracy and armed attacks against shipping in Nigerian waters. He further noted that the strategic collaboration with the international regional partners has led to the arrest of one MV Chayani Nari in October 2021 for conveying 33 kilograms of cocaine worth over $1.5 million from Brazil to Lagos. Allied to these efforts are the annual multinational maritime exercises, such as Exercise Obangame Express, and exercise Grand Nemo Africa, sponsored by the United States of America and France, respectively. The Nigerian Navy collaborates with all navies in the region under the auspices of the 2013 Yaoundé Code of Conduct, which prioritizes cooperation and information sharing between navies of the Economic Community of West African States and Economic Community of Central African States. Rear Admiral Gerba further stated that the ongoing operation Dakatar Dobarao, in synergy with the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, has performed satisfactorily in the fight against crude oil theft and illegal oil bunkering. Pertinently, within seven weeks, the operation recorded some significant successes, notably at the arrest of 45 suspects the activation of 172 illegal refining sites, 745 metal storage tanks, 567 ovens, 263 pits. Nigerian Navy patrol teams denied oil thieves about 11 million liters of illegally refined AGO, 20 million liters of crude oil, and 367,000 liters of GPK. These products are worth over 15 billion naira. This feat, already been applauded, will be sustained. Some of the activities lined up to commemorate the 66th Nigerian Navy Week, which commenced from 24th May to 1st June 2022, includes the NNA SCADA arrival to Nigeria on 27th May 2022 and an International Maritime Conference and Regional Maritime Exercise 2022, built for ONE, Port Accord, with a team optimizing collaboration for maritime security and social economic development in Africa. Palang Booker, CNA News.